friends over at the Pro Football Focus uh, did a profile uh, where they matched up a prospect uh, where it'd be a perfect fit with all 32 NFL teams. And, you know, Pro Football Focus, they know the Vikes, and they match up at interior offensive lineman uh, with the purple and gold. Uh, Matt Hennessy, guard slash center out of the Temple University. Uh, this is what they wrote up. Hey, Hennessy. It was the highest grade center in the class last season, earning an overall grade of 86.5 in his final season at Temple. He was categorized as one of the best outside zone centers in the country by PFF's lead draft analyst, Mike Renner, uh, the fabulous Mike Renner. Uh, Additionally, Hennessy was superb in pass protection college. He allowed just three pressures on 240 true pass sets over the course of his last two seasons at Temple. The concerns with Hennessy involve his athleticism, uh, but his second place results among offensive linemen in three-cone shell and combine shows that there is some agility to work with. End quote. Now, I think his athleticism is actually up there with uh, uh, Garrett Bradbury. I, I think it is uh, truly underrated. And also, the thing that's working uh, against him most is size, uh, potential level of competition as well. But like they mentioned, 6'4", 307. You know, body-wise, he does have a lot of room to add weight. Where he's very... He, he doesn't look 307. Like, like, he looks very skinny up top. And he, his body type sort of reminds me of... You guys remember John Kenoy? Uh, the UDFA from Western Michigan last year, Bro the Boat, where he came in, was a highly productive college center. Uh, I, I don't think they signed him to a futures contract, but uh, it was just a guy who didn't really look the part. One of the reasons why he went undrafted, but he just got it done on the field. And Hennessy is an upgraded version of that. I uh, like to mention at the combine, measurables wise, three cone, broad jump, vert, 20 uh, yard shuttle, all, all great. Bench press. Uh, not so much, but also uh, we've talked about adding strength in the NFL strength program and NFL diet program. It's going to be uh, one of the easier things to do. Uh, but uh, if you just watch a little bit of his tape, that athleticism does come through. Uh, he is going to be great in an outside zone scheme. He is a bit of a Garrett Bradbury clone, to be honest. I mean, if if there's some way just to completely take out all the logos, all the things like that, and just have like, I don't know, like blurs, like blob, like... Uh, remember that Black Mirror one where John Hamm is muted? Everyone is muted, John Hamm. If you could just do that with, with game tape and you looked at, hey, here's center A, here's center B, who is who, Bradbury or Hennessy, I think you'd have a tough time deciphering. I, I think you really would, where you have this cerebral, uh, un- underrated, athletic, undersized, but perfect in the outside zone scheme uh, into your offensive lineman and a guy who's a three-year starter at Temple. And I-, I think that he could come in and do some great work in-, in this scheme. I mean, just being technically sound, being Grim Reacher 2.0, and being able to um, you know, maybe not go head-to-head with some of the larger defensive tackles in the NFC North, but uh, makes up for it with um, uh, being a technician as well as just getting that lateral movement, getting his face around him as I burp. Yeah, that's how, that's how excited I am about Hennessy. I had some Hennessy before. Here we go. Uh, so I, I think the fact that – here's be my ideal scenario. So the Vikings go get tackle first round, second round, et cetera. Maybe they end up with one of the big five tackles. That'd be great. And then they circle around back in one of their uh, additional fourth round picks once they get compensatory picks uh, set, settled up. Because I think that he, uh, Hennessy could and should be there in the fourth round. And I think he would be a great addition to the interior offensive line where I, I don't think you would pencil him in as a day one starter. I, I really don't. I, I, he certainly is very far away from Garrett Bradbury's uh, level. But athletically and also cerebrally, I, I think he is uh, up to snuff. Uh, and I just having him a, as a swing interior backup and then have him learn the ropes a little bit, ha- have him learn at the knee of Rick Dennison, and then eventually take over the left guard spot where whew, did, did I just resign Pat Elfly and starting for another year? Maybe not. But uh, eventually you have an interior offensive line of Hennessy, Bradbury, Samia, whichever guard you want to do. I mean, it's great. As well as it, we talked about last week that one of the more underrated needs from the Vikings that they do need a backup center and Hennessy could fill that role uh, as well because you know God forbid knock on wood alien abduction anything ever happens to Garrett Bradbury Vikings do need someone at the pivot point that can actually take up some snaps because right now they don't and I don't want to get into the hey let's have Drew Samia take some center snaps in the fourth preseason game like they did with Danny Isidore a couple years ago even though he never played center in in college or high school at all shoot Uh, but either way 
Uh, I think he'd be great value as a mid-round pick just coming in uh, on the Temple. So if they snag him, um, he is uh, currently number 120 on PFF's big board. And if the Vikings just wanted to double down offensive linemen, I think Hennessy would be a great part for that second trip around uh, on the O-line. But your thoughts? Hey, Hennessy. Uh, PFF projected him as a fit to the Vikings. Let us know in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. If you want to support the work, pull us on the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull, production value.